you're looking at production capacity in a, in a steel plant and you know that most steel plants are designed for uh, economies to be around 65, 70 percent and to see lower production than that for the economic crisis was very uh, concerning and you start to worry about your job, you start to worry about your friend's job. To see a blast furnace come back online and uh, to start producing at full production again, that's something that just makes you feel a, bit, a big sigh of relief. Not only did we begin to feel relief, the demand began to come back, we saw the order entry uh, come up, but also it reestablished a bit of confidence that, you know, yeah, we got it right and we've got a better handle on what's actually happening in our marketplace. You start to see some price increases, you start to see inquiries coming in from your customers that you've not heard from in the last six months to a year. We look at blast furnaces as signs, as either recovery or a period of decline. And we had two of nine furnaces operating. When we first made that call that we were going to bring up, you know, a third furnace and then a fourth furnace, you know, the enthusiasm of people is, it's almost contagious. By the time uh, July was over, it was very clear uh, that things are on the recovery path. We've seen the worst. We were approving various furnace restarts, so clearly things were changing on the shop floor level. Je suis un, un transfuge de la série de Gordrange en France qui a fermé ses ports. Donc la, la première difficulté, c'est de, de s'intégrer à une nouvelle usine avec des nouveaux collègues de travail. C'est pas forcément évident d'arriver dans une dans une série qui est euh, en période de crise économique. Alors le sentiment aujourd'hui, c'est euh, c'est un mieux. On redémarre une nouvelle année, donc euh, on espère toujours que la nouvelle année avec, on, on nous apporte de bonnes choses. Et pour le moment, c'est plutôt positif. Donc euh, je pense que le moral revient et euh, on espère que ça va durer. Alors, on s'est surtout demandé ce qui allait arriver. On avait peur pour l'emploi. C'est surtout ça. On, voilà. Donc euh, on voyait ce qui se passait à la, à la télévision, à, à la radio, ce qu'on entendait, ce qui se passait dans les fermes extérieures et tout ça. De, de conversation, c'était toujours le même qui revenait. C'était de savoir euh, quand est-ce qu'on allait recommencer à produire normalement. Pendant combien de temps euh, on allait être euh, en période euh, de faible activité Notamment, euh, est-ce que les gens allaient avoir assez de congés pour pouvoir rester à la maison sans avoir recours à, à un éventuel chômage technique All the employees, all the plants, all the managers, uh, the unions worked with us to cut production and we were operating at 50% capacity. And as a result, we emerged from this crisis much stronger. The lesson that I learned, uh, shocks can occur in the system. And we often get too complacent to plan for such shocks. The rate we bring back capacity, you don't want to bring it back too fast or you end up with it being idled again. Um, you have to manage your inventory for slightly higher demand. We still have some furnaces which are down, so we're still in a mixed emotion phase. In due course, we will have all the furnaces running at our store mid and producing to full capacity.